Hello YouTubers and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rombo Redux Deluxe ROM board from the Equalizer. Spoiler alert, the best just got better. This board is a must have for your CPC collection if you've got physical ROMs. Support has been amazing from the Equalizer. The transaction was frictionless. The communication was brilliant. Um, you can't ask more from a seller, uh, particularly in the retro market these days. The, you know, these guys rely on their, their reputation. The board is simple to install. Just plug in your ROM, your favorite ROM, the uh, little dip. The little dimple matches up with the dimple on the socket on the ROM board. Just make sure that those are aligned correctly. Push it in, make sure you don't bend the pins. Put the edge connector, connect that to your CPC. Switch the little dip switch to the on position, so they're numbered one to eight, which corresponds to ROMs uh, zero to seven. So one is zero, eight is seven. There's also a selector switch, which you um, pull out to select zero to seven or eight to 15 for the ROMs. Its default configuration is zero to seven. And it is as simple as that. Power on your CPC and your ROM is up and running, working. Your favorite program is available to you. So don't delay, buy one of these today. It's a good, sturdy piece of kit. So let's get on and review the board. Uh, there, there is some significant improvements, I think. Um, we've got the addition of the pass-through connector. This allows you to add an additional ROM board so that you can have the full potential 16 ROMs, although realistically you're using 14 maximum of physical ROM space there. Or you can add additional expansion devices such as Multiface 2, a light gun, a hackit, etc, etc. Um, so brilliant, absolutely brilliant, love it. We've got the addition of a pause button so that you can halt the CPU and there's two LED indicators, light up green for run and blue for halt. The, the reset button is nicely located and um, the dip switches clearly show the, the direction. The form factor is only a few mil longer than the original version one board. In summary, this is probably one of the best boards that's currently available um, for physical ROMs. Um, the installation is a breeze. Uh, it basically just plug your ROMs in, set the dip switch, plug the ROM board into the back of your Amstrad CPC, power it on, job done. It doesn't get simpler than that. It just works. So my recommendation would be to buy one of these devices. Rob Scott at mrhangman.co.uk. You can contact Rob to find out pricing and how to obtain it. I also believe that uh, Rob also sells on Sell My Retro. So you may be able to find his um, gadgets and gizmos there. Definitely um, uh, a worthy device um, for people that are uh, have got physical ROMs they want to use in their Amstrad CPCs. Okay, let's get on with the unboxing video. Hello YouTubers, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rombo Redux version 3 ROM board for the Amstrad CPC by the Equalizer, um, also known as Rob. So this arrived um, in um, the packaging as I received it last time, so I have no idea what version 3 looks like right now, so let's take a look. Look at this. Okay, uh, I'm sure you can see this here. We've got um, so here we have it. We've got the version three uh, Rombo Redux. Um, so you've got eight slots to put your ROMs in. Um, let's have a look. See what we've got here. Okay, we've got the reset button. That's just here. Um, there's also, I'm told, a halt or a pause button here to halt the CPU. Um, let's have a look. So we can see, uh, I'm sure you can see here, by the Equalizer 2018, and uh, today is July the 15th. It arrived about three days ago, uh, three or four days ago. There's a jumper. Uh, let's see if you can see it here here, which lets you define whether it's ROMs 0 to 7 or 8 to 15. Now typically you can't uh, replace ROM 0 um, because that's the basic ROM 
And ROM 7 is the AMSDOS ROM if you've got some floppy drive enabled. However, there are some ROMs such as Hackit that um, use ROM 0 to override the basic ROM um, on a reset. And obviously, you've got Parados and Rodos and a, a whole bunch of others uh, replacements for, for Amstrad that could go in there. So, potentially, you could have a maximum of 16 ROMs on your Amstrad CPC. Um, realistically, though, the maximum is probably around 14 because you'll probably want basic and you'll probably want the, uh, the AMSDOS to, to let things work. And of course, with everything enabled, it reduces the amount of um, upper RAM. Uh, if you can see here, there's uh, dip switches, and those allow you to switch on or off the ROMs um, as you see fit without having to, to prise the, the board open. Um, so look at the back. Okay. Um, so here we go, here's the, the back of the board. Um, soldering looks pretty good. And um, let's plug it in and, and see what happens. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, almost forgot. Um, the other new addition with the version 3 is the pass-through connector here. So it's a very welcome addition. So the version 1 uh, ROM board that I have should be able to plug into here to give me the theoretical maximum. I don't have that many physical ROMs unfortunately, um, but we will transfer a ROM across just to demonstrate that the board is, is working um, as designed. So let's crack on. Welcome back YouTubers and um, here I am at the Amstrad. I've, uh, for the moment, I've just put in the one ROM here. The, I hope you can see that. The, the Maxam ROM. Uh, it's a long time since I've had to do that. And I set dip switch number one as that's in slot number one. So we're going to slot this in, so sort of slide this into the CPC, like so. And um, turn it on and let's see what happens. Seriously, did you fall for the same gag twice? Um, wow, that was very, very simple. Uh, the CPC is, is fired up. Um, I've actually got a dodgy, um, uh, a dodgy cable, um, which I've just, just sorted out there. Um, anyway, yes, so, oh, new thing. We've got a, um, an LED that lights up, um, that's green. And if I press this button here, oh yeah, that turns um, blue. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do a close-up in a second. Uh, that's in uh, the pause state or the halt state. And green is in the run state. Uh, reset button. Still doing its, its magic. Hopefully you can clearly see that Maxam um, is up and running. If I reset it or I hit the... Reset switch. Uh, take a little time focus. There we go. Maxam 1.5. It's as easy as that. Um, hello. So here we've got the original version one uh, Rombo uh, Redux by the Equalizer. The um, I've taken one ROM out just to demonstrate the uh, the other board for the time being. There's a jumper switch here which I've changed over so that this board is acting as ROMs 8 to 15. So that's all I've needed to do um, on this board. I'm going to add it to the pass-through connector of the Rombo Redux Deluxe version. Um, power it and shut up and see what happens. Okay, so I'm just going to slot this in to the pass-through connector and that snaps in quite easily so now I've got two devices two ROM boards daisy chained together and uh, we're going to power the uh, Amstrad on and see what happens and look at that we have got two ROM boards daisy chained together uh, I'm not sure if you can see the screen I'm just going to zoom in a little bit
And there we have it. We've got Maxam, uh, Discology, Utopia, Protex, and HXC. The five ROMs all up and running. Um, so uh, we can go into Discology. Uh, we can reset that. Or we can use the uh, reset button of the pass-through device. So yeah, that's really good. So if you've got more than six ROMs that you need to use concurrently, um, I would definitely recommend getting two of these Rombo Redux boards. Um, you know, the Rombo Redux Deluxe, um, or the uh, original version one Rombo um, Redux. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant piece of kit. Okay, so um, I've added a, um, you see that there? An Amstrad light gun. Uh, the Magnum to the, the rumble. So uh, hopefully you can see that. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Ooh, excuse my handy camera work. There we go. So I've added the Magnum um, light gun to the ROM board and it should work um, as a pass through. So uh, I think we should give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to use the, the light gun here to um, point at the screen and choose a game. Uh, let's try Bullseye. Ah, I can't beat a bit of bully. That's a crap accent, isn't it? Look at this. This is what you could have won. No? Okay. Oh, it's not my name. Uh, Jason. Easy or hard? Uh, let's go halfway. Five. Right to practice. Yes. Jason to the off. Okay, so I guess I aim at the screen and. Oh. There we go. See if we can get pinpoint accuracy. Ah! Ooh, almost. So, as you can see, I'm going to zoom back out again. Ooh, whoa! So there we have it. Magnum light gun attached to the Rombo Redux Deluxe board with a pass-through connector. Works like a dream. Um, so all your other accessories, um, I can't see why um, this wouldn't work. So again, there's no reason not to buy it. If you've got physical ROMs that you need um, for your Amstrad CPC, um, buy the Rombo Redux. It's brilliant. Thank you.